All right, guys, I'm Abel Ramos with Compass. I'm here today with Austin Lampson of Homeowners Financial Group, where today we're gonna to be debunking the myths of home buying. So that being said, let's dive in and check it out. Okay, Austin, I have a question for you. So what's the difference between down payment and cash to close? Great question. So I like to tell people your down payment is the percentage. Three, five, 10, 15, 20, whatever that number is. And then your cash to close is gonna have some additional closing costs on top of that. So the first one is loan fees. Loan fees are around $1,500. You may have an appraisal fee, you may have a condo review fee, and if they have to go back out and re-verify that work's been done or the heater's been double strapped, you might have an appraisal reinspection fee. So that's it for the loan side of it. You're also gonna have title and escrow fees. And here in the lovely 805, we split title and escrow between the buyer and the seller, typically at 50%. So the seller pays half and you pay half. You as the buyer also pay for what's called your loan title policy. The loan you're getting is the loan you're getting and the recording charges. Dear County, please put that deed in my name. And then the seller is gonna pay for the owner's title policy. The property you're getting is the property you're getting and the transfer taxes. Hey County, I sold a property, I gotta pay you taxes, right? So that's typically the splits there. They're really gonna vary according to sales price and loan amount, because you can see how those could kind of adjust. And last but not least, the most variable, most expensive part of closing costs are what are called your prepaid items. These are recurring costs of home ownership you shore up at closing. For example, insurance. You pay your first full year of hazard insurance at closing. Property taxes. Property taxes are for six months at a time. So you're gonna own it for a part, the seller's gonna own it for a part. You're gonna prorate that level of ownership. You're also gonna pay interest. At Homeowners Financial, this is the first company I've ever worked for in 22 years. We charge interest in the date of closing, not the day before like most people. So that saves you just one day of interest, but it also means that you can close on a Monday without paying interest over the weekend. You're gonna pay interest from the date of closing through to the end of the month. So for example, if you're closing on the 15th of the month, you're gonna pay it from the 15th to the 30th, and your first payment's gonna be the subsequent month, not the following month, because you prorate that as interest is paid in arrears. So those are kind of those different factors. I would say it's always good to estimate closing costs about one to 2% of your sales price, just depending on some of those variables in there. Hey everyone, thanks again for taking the time to connect today. I know you got a lot going on your plate. There are so many questions out there. We just thought we'd start it off and get some information, debunk those myths. Contact us, all of our information is here. Social media, LinkedIn, Facebook, whatever you need. Abel, thank you, I really, really appreciate yeah. the opportunity. Thank you, Austin, you taught us so much today. I'm Abel Ramos with Compass, have a good one.